Have I said thank you yet? If not, just remind me, and I will, twice a day, like atmospheric suppositories. I mean, most guys, they'd have killed me without a second thought. I, uh, probably shouldn't keep reminding you not to trust me. Tell me everything you know about Rogan the Butcher. Right to business, huh? He's a strange guy, Rogan. Got his own kind of honor. I think he gets off on the whole underworld anti-hero image. Freedom to thumb his nose at any authority on any planet. You'd like him, if he wasn't trying to kill you. You may be right about that. When we land planet side, you get a room somewhere, right? You don't expect us to keep sleeping in these closets. Never mind. So, what was it like, Noctrayan? I'd been asking Risha, but she gets all weird and prickly about it. She actually slapped me when I said it'd be a better story if you turned out to be his long-lost son. Even Rogan was impressed when he heard you dug up the old man's treasures. I don't like to brag, but... Ah, who am I kidding? I love to brag. That's why everyone's heard of you, right? How does someone become the most famous spacer in the galaxy anyway? Did you always know this was what you wanted to do? I'd like to imagine your parents programmed janitorial droids, and this was your way out of the family business. Can't ask for better, kid. Complete strangers give you credits to have the time of your life. I wish my old Jedi Master could meet you. He'd have a harder time selling the whole deprivation is the key to happiness thing. I guess you've been wondering how someone like me ever ended up with the Jedi, huh? You don't really seem like the Jedi type. They thought that too. I was always kind of the odd one out in my family. And believe me, it was not a small family. When they kicked me out, I went to Nar Shadda and met a Jedi who said all the weird stuff that happens to me is a connection to the Force. Don't sell yourself short. You do plenty of weird stuff all on your own. And you know, that was an issue. The Jedi are all about recruiting kids too young to know better, so there it was. Me and all these serene little kids. You've never known real rage until you've been lectured on controlling your emotions by a four-year-old in a robe. You said you were kicked out. I maybe overstated that. They don't really throw people out, you know. Call of the dark side and all that. But it was clear I'd never make the cut. Anything I could do with the Force was basically random. Never even figured out how to work my dead master's lightsaber. So, have I been looking any more convincing with the lightsaber? I mean, it's about as much use to me in a fight as a glow-in-the-dark belt buckle. But I figure if I wave it around, maybe it'll scare people off. You think you can get me one of those? I'll keep my eye out. This was the only lightsaber we had, you know, in the whole Enclave. I wasn't in the Jedi Academy proper. Never made it that far. My master ran a recruitment center on Nar Shadda. I don't think he had the guts to actually bring me out in public. Doesn't sound like much of a life. It was a step up from prison. I need you to teach me to fight dirty. You'd think I'd be good at that, you know. But when it gets beyond cowering in doorways, I'm pretty much all point and shoot. Show me how you work your magic. Set your blaster on stun. We'll take some time and see what you're made of. Stun, huh? That's a good idea. They should make every Jedi kid spend time in a war zone. When you see what real Sith are like, it makes my blood run cold. And don't make any fish jokes there. I'm serious. It makes you see why the Jedi make such a big deal about not giving in to the dark side. Thinking about going back? I am. But right now, I'm in your crew, and I can't ask for anything better. But Master Lauren was right. The road to the dark side starts with things we all feel. Jealousy. Greed. They're all the seeds of it. I'd rather spend the rest of my life meditating on a cold rock than turn into that. You know you're the kind of guy, you know where you stand. Either you're laughing or you're shooting. I would have done much better with someone like you. Master Lauren was just ice. You had no idea if he even knew you were in the room. If I could, I'd teach you what to do with that lightsaber. Aw, oh, Captain. If you were my master, I might have practiced. Or at least not release the Kowakian monkey lizards into your dressing room. Maybe that was a bad plan. Captain, I just want to say thank you. 
I could never have imagined you would put up with me for this long. When I first came on board with you, I thought it was going to be a few weeks at most before you left me on some isolated moon. Keep me laughing and you've got a bunk on this ship forever. Have you heard this one? There once was a Moncal from Dak. He wore a jetpack on his back. He liked to shoot blasters and fly even faster. He was a Mando Cal attack. No? Well, I'll come up with a better one. You're like my family, Captain. No one else has ever given me the kind of trust and respect I've had here. I'll never leave you. <laughs>